Hey friends and once again welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with uncharted legacy of games unsupported CPU error. So without wasting time let's go ahead and directly head over to the solution. For all the Intel processors you need to head over to your browser. You need to open this particular website which is of Intel itself Intel software development emulator. You need to scroll down and you will find the second last download option which is of direct for Microsoft Windows. Click on it. Accept the terms and conditions and save it onto your desktop. Now open the downloaded folder. Now you need to extract the file onto your desktop by creating a new folder. Open this folder also. Now you need to open the downloaded folder. This folder will open in WinRAR. If you do not have one, I will share the link in the description of this video also. These are the files. Select all of them and then drag and drop into the new folder that we have just created onto my desktop. Now close all the folders except the new folder that we have just created. Now here you will find an exe file with the name SDE. You need to right click on it and click on the option show more options. From here click on send to and click on the option desktop that means create a shortcut. Now close the folder. Now right click on this newly created shortcut and click on the properties option. Now here in the target, head over to the last point of the target. Here make sure you type as it is what I am writing right over here. First of all type a space. Now type here a minus icon and type HSW. Then again put a space. Now type two hyphen or minus sign. After that again type space. Make sure you type the commands as it is I am showing right over here. There is one space in the last then two minus sign then again a space and then these three words a minus sign and then there is a space again. Once it is done you need to right click on your exe file of the uncharted legacy of thieves and click on the option properties. Now here simply go ahead and copy the target area by pressing the control A by selecting all the data present in the target and then pressing the control C button to copy the files as it is. Once copied again head over to your SDE shortcut file and at the last you need to press the control V button to paste that particular path as it is over here. Once pasted hit apply and then ok button. Now go ahead and you need to run this SDE shortcut. This SD shortcut will open a blank screen to you and it will go ahead and play uncharted legacy of thieves for you. One more thing friends it may take up to 40 minutes or 30 minutes for the first time to play after the black screen to play uncharted legacy of thieves at your end. So make sure you wait for at least 30 to 40 minutes and this fix is only for the intel users. This is all about it friends this is how you will fix out the issue of uncharted legacy of thieves unsupported CPU. If you like this video I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel.